What's up guys, hope you're doing well. Um, so today we're gonna have a cool shave, uh, all new gear I guess, uh, except for the brush, it's an older brush. We're gonna be starting off with some Sterling uh, Barbershop pre-shave oil. I'm only gonna do like, I don't know, two or three drops. Um, if I could get the second drop to come out, and then one more. Um, I found that if I do like a thin layer, it doesn't really, uh, you know, get really too annoying on the skin. But still kind of aids with gliding the razor. And Doug Bear said it helps with uh, when he uses a straight razor. So, yeah, maybe I'll add another drop. There you go. Because, um... Added a lot of water. There you go. Cool. Oh, uh, yeah. So for the razor, sorry for that. I had to wash my hands. For the razor, we'll be going with a razor I uh, never used before. This is a Kamasori. Sorry, not showing it. I don't know anything about this. So if you have any questions, I probably can't answer it. I just know it's like a wedge or a near, or a near wedge because it's a cami. Um, actually staining isn't my fault. I did that. I'll clean it later. Interestingly enough, the guy who sold it to me, I believe his name is Paul. I believe you guys refer to him as Lather Me Whiskers. Really cool dude. Uh, shout out to him. I talked to him a bit. I told him I'd do it last week, but I never got around to it using this and, um, really cool dude. Um, he even sent me a whole video on like how to strop it because, the sides are different are different they're not sorry one second they're not uh even because that's like a traditional style uh razor um yeah you can see it's not what's called an s western edge where it's like kind of even on one side i told him to hone it that way but he said it would damage one side like too much so you know uh, i was like he's like you know what let me just sharpen that side let me sharpen it hone it um and you'll be able to shave it both sides because even though that's not the proper way to use it, I'm trying to like develop my technique. So I'm not at the level where I could shave with one side right now. I'm just not. Um, so he stropped it, he honed it. We'll see how it goes. Um, for the soap, we'll be going with Diver Down by Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements. And they're a cool shaving stick. I'm glad it came out with this. This is only like 10 bucks and you get it in the CK6 formula. I should say it somewhere. Pretty, it doesn't, but I'm pretty sure that's it. But this stuff's cool, man. So we're gonna apply that. This stuff is, I feel like this is a f fantastic idea if you if you travel using a shaving stick. Like I doubt they'd give you trouble for this at the airport. Um, I don't know if, I forgot what the sizes limits are, but I mean, to carry one of the best bases wherever you go, that's pretty awesome. I'd take this if I went traveling, whether it was local or far. All right, we got plenty. Of, we got plenty here. Trust me, this is this is plenty. <laughs> yeah, so that's that's a shaving stick. It's a really cool classic scent. I believe it's uh, an homage to. Oh, we're going with the B seven that I got back. I sent this to my buddy uh, over a month ago, and it got lost in transit. USPS lost it, but we got it back. And now it's back in the den. I'm happy to use it. <laughs> Anyways, it's a homage to Seaforth Spiced, I think. Uh, don't quote me on that. I don't know if it's spiced or not. But it's a lovely scent, guys. It's At first, I found it very weird. But as you can see... Sorry, the spike nards get in my eye. <laughs> as you can see, uh, it lathers up in no time. Uh, with the stick, CK6 is pretty easy to lather, so I put a lot on my face, so I gotta add more water. But, um, yeah, this is this is awesome. I like it. It's It's got, uh, what are the scent notes? It's got spiced rum, it's got myrrh, it's got spikenard, Jerusalem pine, and a little bit of lavender and a little bit of cinnamon. So I definitely get the myrrh and the cinnamon and uh, yeah, maybe a little bit of the rum. It's not like super rummy. It's not like your traditional bay rum by any means, 
I'd say, like a traditional bay rum would be like, I don't know, for me it would be like Barrister and Man bay rum or Ugalala. That's one of my favorites, um, bay rums. But I'm not really, generally not into bay rums. Anyways, um, yeah, so this apparently is like a super accurate representation. I know Sean Mayer did a uh, kind of like a recreation. F uh, who was it for? Oh, uh, for Spearhead Soaps. Yeah, so I think that was like a different take on it. Um, I know what I do know though is um, uh, from what I heard, PAA has been working on this scent for like over a year now. Uh, apparently he got his hands on the original and it's pretty accurate to the original. So that's pretty cool. Um, so that's awesome. I haven't tried the the C4 uh, from Spearhead. Um, but what I can say is this one's pretty awesome. What I do like about it is the spike nard is such a cool sensation. It literally is like super cooling, which I find awesome because it's not like a synthetic coolant. It is, but it's not in a way like it's so different than menthol and synthetic is what I'm trying to say. Uh, Cause it has like its own, it has its own effect on the scent, um, but it also cools you like, I don't know, it's just not in your face or in your eyes like menthol, but it's still much stronger than synthetic. That's all I could really kind of say. Uh, but yeah, I don't know why more artists don't use it. Like, this stuff is awesome. Um, so yeah, I have no idea how this is going to go because I've been learning to hold it differently uh, with the scales. This has no scales, so I don't know. We'll see how it goes. This thing's sharp. Who was who it that told me? I think you're supposed to go with a steeper angle, like uh, more direct versus like, I don't know, shallow with a, with a camisori. I don't know if that's true. But yeah, it seems to be cutting well. Uh, yeah, so shout out to Paul, dude. Good looks, dude. He hooked me up with this razor. I've been wanting a cami for a while, so real good dude. Like I said, he even sent me a video on how to hone it. Not hone it, uh, sorry, strop it. Because I was like, dude, I'm not going to know how to strop this. <laughs> so it's it's giving me some resistance on the, the mustache here. Oh, let me wipe the bleed. Oh, wow. So yeah, we definitely picked up some hair. See that? Yeah, that's kind of painful. It's like really tuggy. I don't know if it's because the weather lather's not that wet. It's, it's definitely underhydrated a bit. Oh yeah, I'm supposed to use the left side. I don't even know. <laughs> Let's, uh, yeah, left side, left hand. Let's, let's try this side. So it does a, f a great job on the cheeks, but it seems to be struggling uh, cutting the hair on my nose, like mustache area. Not really sure why. I don't know which side would be more effective. Yeah, that kind of, that like really hurts. Yeah, I don't know. We're going to move down to the neck. <laughs> Yeah, so it definitely gives you some resistance when cutting. It kind of reminds me of the AJ Jordan full hollow I used. Because it is giving me some resistance cutting. You know, it's not, uh, it didn't feel butter smooth like the, uh, like the Edge Frank Misa uh, did for me. Like, yo, that thing was so smooth. Makes me want to pick it up right now. But, uh, 
I just want to see how this Camisori shade goes. Um, yeah, so. Sorry if I'm like taking forever to get through the pass, guys. Straight noob with this stuff. Let's see if I can flip it. Can I do that? Kind of like I do with my shave that too. Yeah, I can. Damn, it's cutting. Yeah, but on my mustache, you know why? It's because it, it's just like, my hair is super thick up there. I don't know. Maybe it's the angle because I'm coming in from under. It's definitely the angle. I can't really drop the angle as much. I feel like I would hit my nose. Yeah, maybe. There you go. Yeah, I know I was shaving with the wrong hand, but I, I was just trying to get it through with my dominant hand. So, yeah. All right. I don't know. CDB makes it look so easy. <laughs> When he shaves it a straight, it's like so nonchalant. Like, uh, he's just like talking. Yeah, he talks at the same time. I'm just like, damn. Yeah, it seems to be cutting fine. Good job, Paul. Um, I do like, I do seem to like the other edge better, but still cutting. Yeah, you gotta really push into the skin, kinda. Yeah, a little tuggy. Feels like I'm about to cut myself, but... Knock on wood, we did not cut ourselves. Whew. Yeah, I mean, it does feel close. Uh, we're drying out a little bit. Sorry if this video goes too long, guys. I'm only going to do one pass on this because um, yeah, it's kind of like resisting. Yeah, I switched to my dominant hand because like it's just like it's hard to get a good cutting angle. Let's try it again. There you go. Nice. Um, I kind of stopped caring if the lather is like super wet for straight razor shaving because that one time I used uh, that gold dollar, it wasn't even that like thin, like like slick, like wet lather. It wasn't like super wet and it was cutting absolutely fine. I think I had to do more with the razor um, or the, the edge rather. Um, but yeah, I, uh, I'm going to try it again here. What was I gonna say? Yeah, I don't know if you guys like watch Stallion. He he doesn't hydrate his lathers a ton, and I mean I know he's a pro and he's been doing this for a long time. But if you want to talk about like technique, that guy is he's a beast with the technique. He knows what he's doing when he shaves, and he doesn't hydrate the lather to the point where it's like crazy slick. Um, yeah, so I think it's, I don't think the lather, like the lather's fine is what I'm basically trying to say. Yeah, because I, I just know if I go uh, against the grain with this, it might be, I don't know, let's try it. You want, should I try it? Let's try it. I do have my Henson razor on standby. Oh, wait. Yeah, yeah that's right. That's right.
I could be wrong. The one side might be cutting better than the other. Yeah, I forgot. I think now I remember Paul was talking to me. We we haven't talked in like two weeks, so I think he was trying to tell me to go with a different angle on one side versus the other, and I completely forgot. So that's that's on me. It's my fault. I probably should have messaged him before. But yeah, that's first pass, kind of like first pass, two passes, kind of. <laughs> All right, let's finish on the. I'm gonna finish on the Henson real quick. Yeah, see, I actually applied too much soap to the face, too. Like, I got a ton of lather here. There you go. Nice. So that cooling is... It's very cool. It's not like Sterling Glacial Cool, where it's like in your face, which some people like. Uh, I like it, too. Um, but it's like nice... It's like nice and subtle. It's not like, it's not like really subtle, like the, uh, what's it called? The Barrister and Man Terror Raid. Like that one's like super light. And of course, I'm finishing up with the Henson Razor. It's got an Astra, I think on its third use. I'm really enjoying this razor because despite having little to no blade feel, it has pretty good efficiency. And it's very affordable, it's only 50 bucks. Pretty solid. I think I'm gonna have to pick up that tie. You will see how it goes. Yeah, but I feel like uh, PAA hit it out of the ballpark with this scent, it's just, like, it just gives the vibe that it's classic. Like, you could tell. Like, you know how you smell Barbasol? And you're like, yo, that's a classic scent. You smell Panad Klugman. Um, and you're like, yeah, that's a classic scent. This, I haven't really smelled before. But it gives me that vibe, if that makes any sense at all. But yeah, man. Uh... Yeah, so I don't know, maybe the oil helped a little bit. Too many variables to tell right now. Yeah, also I can buff on this razor like a lot and not get any irritation from quote unquote over shaving. You know? Like, yeah, there you go. There's a there's the, the hair. Whew. I'll probably use a moon soap tomorrow. I know Ken's running moon soaps week again, and I'm a big fan of them. Uh, I think everyone is. I don't think I've ever heard send it, send anyone say they don't like moon soaps. I don't think I've ever heard it. Like, yeah, it's pretty good. So I'll probably use that um, tomorrow. We'll see. Yeah, once again, sorry this video is running long. Uh, I, uh, if I were to use the straight the whole time, it would probably be like a 40 minute video and it still would not be anywhere close to BBS. I'd have a lot more weepers, so. Um, yeah, I just didn't want to force it. The edge kind of, whether it's the grind or the edge, it just kind of felt uh, like pretty tuggy. Like, I don't know, it was, it was like really smooth cutting in some areas, but other areas it was not. I, I don't know if it's due to the the edge or the fact that it was one-sided, but uh, Camasaur is pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah, but I kind of wish uh, Doug would offer more, PAA would offer more sense in the Shaving stick, like that's awesome. It's from a cost standpoint, it's not as good a value as uh, what do you call it? What do you call it? Yeah, if I do get this, I'm gonna have to get the aggressive version because it is efficient for how mild it is, but it's not as efficient as my more efficient razors. 
um, you see me buffing kind of a little bit more than I'm used to. Anyways, um, yeah, the shaving stick thing is real cool. But anyways, uh, before I ramble on, I think we're pretty much done with the shave. Uh, yeah, we'll call it, and then I'll see you guys for the post shave. All right, guys, we're back for the post shave. So yeah, just a recap. We use Diver Down. It's to me, it's kind of like a, a spiced, like uh, it's got like a little bit of rum. You get the rum, you get the myrrh, you get the, uh, the spike nard, which I can't even describe because it's so unique. But um, yeah, and like a hint of cinnamon. But I like it. It's like a classic scent. Um, yeah, good job. Pretty cool artwork as well. I'm gonna be using this for travel for sure. Um, for the razor, we use the Camasori. Uh, thanks again, uh, Paul, for hooking me up with this cami. Uh, definitely need more practice with it. Uh, but you know, regardless of having like almost yeah about two passes, I didn't really get any irritation or uh, weepers at all. So that's cool. Uh, no irritation at all. I feel pretty great. Um, yeah, and then for the brush, we use my Declaration B7, which I finally have back in my den. Very happy about that. Um, for the splash, I don't have the matching splash. We're gonna keep the PAA theme though. We're gonna go with another barbershop. <laughs> so we had the Sterling Barbershop, pre-shave, the Diver Down, and now we got the CAD. This stuff is really strong in terms of alcohol content. So I'll try to tread lightly when pouring this. Give me a second. I like to mix, I'm trying to mix, I'm gonna mix it with some, some skin food from a &E. Um Give me a second. Cool. Yeah, it's plenty. And then, okay, way too much came out. Oh man. I forgot how good the scent is. Straight Barbasol, but you get a little bit more lemon, lemon coming through on it. It's nice. Ooh, that's good stuff, guys. All right, guys, uh, that's it. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Sorry again for the long video. Peace.